hello friends welcome to the channel so today we will see how we can connect to the postgres database using driver manager connection and using the basically we will get the connection from the egg role uh, okay so let's start what all we need so this is our workers project so this is what we have downloaded i mean we have generated from the quarkus.io so this is simple only you can check it in the previous videos so this is our application so now what we have to do is first of all we will give the uh, db kind username password and url to get the data source okay to get the connection basically so workers dot data source dot db kind equal to postgres ql then let's do control d post db kind ho gaya so after db kind what we have to do is user name Username is Postgres password. Password is also Postgres. Then we have to give uh, Control D the URL. Okay. Let's do. Workers dot uh, have to give the JDBC URL, right? JDBC BC URL, okay. So the URL is JDBC colon post post grace colon double slash double slash local host colon put name five four three two then the db name post grace so for that uh, you your system must have the postgres installed so i have already installed the postgres so this is the uh, postgres installed already this is the db name and i have already employee table with two column so i have kept simple table so that it will be easy to understand so now <coughs> so we have give this one already given that db kind username password and the url so now uh, so we to use the uh, data source connection we will use egg role so we have to inject that one so to do that one what we have to do is uh, okay so this is the uh, postgres one jdbc postgres what we have to do first so this will inject you can check in the form so form um, it is not there jdbc so it will when it's successful it will inject so it has been successful so let's see yeah so this has been injected okay then one more what we have to do is so this is and extension ag r o a l Role. this what we have to depend we have to basically add the dependency for role. okay so it has been also done so let's check yeah so this has been added so now we can uh, let's open so now let's go here so here we can inject now 
at the rate agrol data source okay So let's inject this guy. Okay. So we got, we will get this data source. So we will test it in the basically REST API. Okay. So let's insert. We can keep it void also, not a problem. UID. So our string is fine. Z okay so let's do to v dot get connection so this will give the connection connection on equal to this guy then we will get the statement on dot create statement give the statement as TATE statement ok we got the statement now statement dot execute Oh. Then so this twelve in short into the employee uh, values values values. Name let's say. test one and oh this has to be single code right test one comma so we always have to give single code okay so this is done so let's start our application let me do this one and by the time i Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it is successfully built. Actually, I have already done so the jars are already downloaded. Else, for if you do for the first time, then it will take some time because it will then download the dependency jars actually. So let's uh, now let's check before this one. Uh, so there is only one row. So now what we will do is uh, let's do insert okay so let's see if we have done some mistake okay so this is the thing I have done mistake so let's copy to the properties file again postgres well 
so let's start again stop and run yes so it has been successful so the issue was that uh, username the name should be not in the camel case it should be in the uh, small case okay so now we can go here and check go to the and let's run you can see now test one hyderabad already inserted so we can now change one second and uh, let's say amit mumbai okay so it's done anyhow it is in the tab mode so when we will request it should build and it will basically insert if you want to check you can see it has been reloaded and it should have been inserted okay so this is what i wanted to show how we will use the driver manager so basically here the main thing is uh, agrol data source so what it does is it basically based on the configuration it takes the driver and get the connection from the get the connection and it will give to you this api then you can use it as a normal connection so it is very easy to use driver manager connection so next we will see how we can use the data source reactive data source and we can connect to the postgres and we will do some operation thank you guys thanks for watching